question comes to us from Steve in Oracle, Arizona. And um, he's talking about, he says he notices whenever I do any of these demonstrations, I do it off a of tee. And he's sure that I could, that me personally, that I could do it off the ground. Why do I do it off a of tee? Well, here's the deal. First of all, whenever I start out every day, I start off a of tee. Or I give myself such a good lie, it might as well be on a tee, as do most tour players. Now, what they'll do, they create tees by, see, if I hit the ground like that, and I move the ball in there, see, I've now put that ball on a tee. I mean, I, I moved it up about a quarter of an inch. So they're creating tees. Well, why do you do that? Well, when you're swinging, you're trying to control three variables. And another thing is, Mr. Nicholas made a comment to me that's made a lot of sense. He goes, Mike, every day is an opportunity to reinvent yourself. Every day I come out and I basically relearn the game. Jack's a pretty good player. He had a pretty decent career. So if this guy comes out and relearns his game, maybe we should maybe try it rather than assume we've got something. So when you start out, what are you trying to gain? Well, you've got to control three things. You've got to control path with the clubs on, the face angle, and angle of approach. Now, of those three, angle of approach is the one that's probably the most difficult for people. So you want to take or make angle of approach a little less difficult at first. Now, when I put a ball on a tee, I still have to control the path that the club's on. I still have to control what the face is doing. But my club could actually bottom out a little early. And because the ball's up on a tee, I mean, I bottomed out way early on that one. I still caught it decent in the face. The ball goes okay. I could bottom out late. So it's on a tee. I could bottom out way past the ball. The ball still goes in the air. Now, if those balls, if those two would have been on the ground, one I would have hit behind it a little bit, the other I would have topped it. Okay, so what's the point? This is about a confidence building game and it's about skill development. So the first thing I want to get control of when I start practicing is I want to get control of my hands controlling the face on the right path. So I get those two things first. And then I'll work on what my angle of approach is doing and what my body's doing and all of that past that. So I start out every day and most of my practice, I practice off the tee. The other reason I practice off the tee We've got this target line set up. So if that ball goes over that stick and goes right over the top of that stick, it goes at a target out there, a destination that I want the ball to go to. Now, if I hit a ball from here, and then the next ball, I put it over there, all of a sudden this line and that line don't work. Because the ball has to be in a direct line with your target line and that stick that's standing up. So. When I put the ball on a tee, if I make a divot, see, I can tee the ball up on the same line. And so I'm constantly using that line because I'm doing a couple of things when I hit balls. I'm working on what I'm doing with my swing, but I'm also recognizing where the ball starts relative to that orange stick. So every time I hit a ball, regardless of what I'm working on, if I'm set up here, I want the ball to start over that orange stick or or slightly to the right of that orange stick. So that's the picture of the start line. Now, if I move that ball six or eight inches, then all of a sudden, those I'd have to move the sticks every time I move the ball. So the other reason that I tee everything up is because I can tee it up so that I can be right on that target line. And I can tee it up to where, you know, it's just barely, I mean, the ball is basically sitting on the ground. And if it's in a divot, I can tee it up so that I still, you know, I can still use a divoted area and hit the ball. So that's the big reason. Don't be in a rush to hit it off the ground. Separate skill, angle of approach. We're going to talk about how to do that. But I'm teeing up balls all the time. Plus, here's the other thing I've always found interesting about teeing it up. People are, oh, I don't want to practice off the tee. You have to play golf off the ground. I go, have you ever played golf? They go, well, yeah. I said, okay. So you're going to go play today? Well, yeah. I said, okay, so when you get to the first tee and you walk out, what do you get to do? What do you mean? 
Well, no, what do you do on the first tee with the ball? Do you put it on the ground? Well, no, I tee it up. Oh, wow, so you mean to tell me that 18 times in a round you get to tee the ball up? Well, yeah, okay. So then if you're really good off a tee, that means 18 initial shots, you're gonna hit them pretty well. So why don't you wanna practice off a tee if a big percentage of the game is played off a tee? I mean, it's just like, just think about that for a minute. Yeah, the fairway, you're off the ground. Yeah, but on the tee, you're on a tee. So get good off a tee. The only thing that changes when you get to the fairway is your ability to control your path relative to angle of approach. So that's why I use the T and I hope that all of you will, especially each day when you start out. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for regular updates and tips. Thanks for watching.